Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to start making some animations for our human enemy character that we created over the last few episodes. First I'll show you how to set up Blender for animating and then we'll start into, we'll start getting into some animations. First the setup, so this window I like to make a bit smaller because we don't really use it. What you can do is pull out another window because we do need it. Go down here and say dope sheet. Now this is where we're going to be animating. You can make this window a bit smaller because we don't really need it. Now picking the size of this dope sheet is all up to you. I always like to go to about 30 frames since I like making like animations with low detail, I guess. I mean, we don't really need a lot because it's a low poly game and doesn't need that much fluidity. Now you have to go down here and instead of dope sheet say action editor. It's gonna allow you to make uh, animations. Also what I like to do is go down here and say location and rotation. Now every time we insert a keyframe with I, it's going to insert the bones location and rotation. Let's just select both the armature and the mesh. Press RX minus, actually first press shift control alt C, origin to 3D cursor. If your cursor is not centered, press shift C and then Shift Control Alt C to center the origin down here. Make sure the origin is below his feet. And now, while having the bone selected, press RX minus 90. And now just press Control A, Location, Rotation, and Scale. This is going to make sure that when we import this to Unity, it works well with the Unity's engine. Now to bring it back, just say RX 90, and then select the armature and go into Pose Mode. Now you can go and say file save as and instead of saying fps human model i'm just going to say this as fps human anim as animation and save as blender file now for our enemies i was thinking of them being zombies because for if you're making a game for the first time those are real pretty much the most simple enemies you can make all they really need to do is run at you with one animation which is probably the idle one and then they just need to bite you or scratch you or whatever they do but let's get started with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two arms we're making a idle, idle animation first and I'm going to take these arms and kind of pull them forward so they kind of look like a zombie like that and now this would kind of be the first frame of the idle animation if you want the animation to loop the first and the last frame have to be the same before we insert any keyframes also, we can go down here and press new and say zombie idle. Seems pretty fine. Press I while selecting all the bones, you can do with that with A. And also, whenever you're making an animation, make sure you go down here to the end and say the max frames you want to have. I'll go with 31. And now if I go to the 30, 31st frame and then again press I. So I can have the same um, pose as I have in the first frame. Now this animation will loop. For example, if I go to the 15th frame, and for example, if I move these arms a bit down, make it a bit more random maybe. Maybe rotate these a bit up. Select these bones that I moved, press I. If I press Alt A, or just play it down here, then this will play like this and you can see that it loops. To stop it you can press Alt A again or just stop it down here. What I also want to do is maybe move the head a bit whenever we move the arms. I just throw it on the x-axis and pressed I. This works fine. Also I may make him kinda tilt forward and then also move the arms a bit more up. And now I will select the bones that I moved and press I. Now this looks like a good idle animation for a zombie, I think. Before moving on, uh, first make sure you save it. So just save as FPS human um, idle. Now I'll save it like that. And also we have to export it. So while having this armature selected, go export FBX. Now we'll export this as FPS humans idle. Make sure you click selected objects down here very important and uncheck this for scale and export. Now we have our idle animation. 
I'll probably need a walk animation too, so I'll go... Actually, I can make it from uh, my uh, idle animation, so I'll just go ahead and down here, rename it to zombie walk. And then I'll go F file and save as uh, FPS human walk. Save as blender file. Now, whenever we're walking, we don't need this middle thing, so I'll just select this top keyframe, press X and delete the keyframe. Now we have this again. And for the walking animation, on the first and the last frame, you want to have the legs up. So what I'll do, I'll take this uh, left leg, move it a bit forward, as if you're walking. Maybe put it like this, take the back leg, move it a bit backwards, bend the leg. And I'm just going and pressing R. Now I can select all these bones, press a to select them and I to um, insert the keyframes, press Ctrl C to copy, go to the last frame, Ctrl V to paste and press I. If we play it, you can see that nothing happens. And now if we go to the frame 16, we want to swap the legs. So what I'll do, I'll take this uh, right leg and move it in the position of the left leg, take the left leg and move it backwards. Maybe bend them a bit more to make it a bit more random in some places. Select these bones that I moved and press I. Now if we play it, you can see that it kind of swaps the legs, but this looks very bad. Then I want to go to the frame 8 in which the left leg should touch the floor. If you follow the leg, you can see that right here it should touch the floor. And then I will take this left foot Make sure you take the left foot and then I will kind of make it flat and maybe straighten out the leg a bit more. And then select these three bones that I moved, press I, go to the frame 24. And in this frame, the right leg should touch the floor. If you follow the right leg, right about here, it should touch the floor. So I'll make it a bit straighter and flatter and press I, select them and press I. If you now play it, looks a bit better, but still not it. So whenever our back leg is uh, kind of fully extended backwards, I will rotate the foot backwards. So just select it, press I. And this foot I will rotate forwards and maybe rotate a bit more um, so it's more forward. Select these two and press I. Now select everything with A, press Ctrl C to copy, go to the last frame, press Ctrl V to paste. And then press I. Now in the middle, on the 16th frame, do the same thing. Rotate this forward, rotate this backwards. Select and press I. Now if you play it, okay, the legs work fine, we can fix that later easily. Now I want to move on to the arms. So whenever our left leg is forward, I want the left arm to go a bit backwards like this and the right arm to go a bit upwards. Like that, select these two bones, press I, Control C to copy, go to last frame, Control V to paste and then I. Go to the middle and in this case, um, I want the right arm to go a bit backwards and the left arm to go a bit upwards. Select these two bones, press I. Now if I play it, it looks like a bit more like a zombie. Also what I want to do is whenever we step on this leg, I want the zombie to kind of bend forward. So I'll just do that and then press I and um, I, was, I did that on the frame 8 and I will do it on the frame 24. Now, since we do not have a keyframe on the frame 16 for our back, it will just keep the back straight. If you go to frame 16, press Alt-R while having this selected bone and press I. And now it looks kind of like it's uh, struggling to walk. Also, I want to move the head. So whenever we step on the floor, I will kind of straighten out the head like this. Do the same thing on frames 24 and on frame 16, so now the head, press I. That kind of looks like a zombie. Also, from if we look from the front, you can see that it's pretty straight right here. 
So whenever we step on our light, uh, left leg, sorry, we want to tilt the body to the left. So pre uh, take this lower torso bone, press RY, kind of move it on the left side, and then move the left leg also, like this, so it's flat on the ground. Also move the head a bit, so it's looking straight. And take these three bones and press I. So ev now every time we step on the left leg, you can see the character kind of tilt to the left. We want to do the same thing on the right leg. So take this bone, rotate to the right. This a leg, so it's flat on the ground. And the head. Take them, press I. Now if we move, you can see that it kind of looks like a zombie. I think that's pretty good for the walk animation. You can make it a bit more perfect if you want. I kind of feel like this is good and I don't want to take too much of your time. So I'll just press Ctrl C to save and go File, Export, FBX, FPS Human and not Idle, but we want to walk. And make sure selected object is selected and this is the selected. Click Export. And that's pretty much it. I think these are the two animations that we need the most. We don't need jumping, we don't need crouching or anything else. So I think this is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something. If I was a bit too fast, I'm really sorry. And just watch the video over again and hopefully you'll get it. And, uh, you can go follow me on my social media or on my Patreon if you're that kind. There's links to that in the description. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.